So let's uh, let's look up the first scripture passages, and you'll see here in our logos. I love this thing. I just bought this. I love <laughs> this thing. All right. So what you're going to find here is um, a lot of the uh, a lot of the same themes that kind of run through Ephesians 4, mm -hmm. Romans chapter 12, and 1 Corinthians chapter 12. And these themes are unity. Mm -hmm. So oneness in the body of Christ, mm -hmm. the oneness in the Godhead, mm -hmm. and the sovereignty of God in granting these gifts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So starting here in verse 4, uh, there is one body and one spirit, just as also you were called in one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. So every time we come to these charismatic gifts, or not just the charismatic gifts, but any of the gifts, mm -hmm. we're going to talk about the oneness of God, mm -hmm. the oneness of the body of Christ, mm -hmm. the believers, and the sovereignty of God in granting these gifts of yes. grace, or these gifts of offices, or the, the charismatic gifts. Mm -hmm. So... Um, he, he establishes the unity of the body, the unity of God, and of the freeness of the Spirit in granting these gifts. So we find ourselves in verse 11, and he says, and he gave some as apostles. Now, mm -hmm. I think there's two different ways in which we can understand mm -hmm. this apostleship. And we've talked about this before. Yeah. Um, the apostles of the early church are not in operation today. Mm -mm. No, I don't believe so. Well, why not? Because <laughs> that's what, that's that's part. Of, I mean, I, I don't know exactly the full extent of what the New Apostolic Reformation or even the Apostolic Denomination mm -hmm. believes. But what I, from what I understand, they believe that some level of spiritual authority is still granted to some people to operate mm -hmm. in the power of mm -hmm. the first 12 mm -hmm. or of the early church mm -hmm. apostles yeah yeah so to some degree they still believe that they're able to hold pretty much every gift because they're an apostle they've been granted the same ability to heal to prophesy to to exhort to um pretty much do everything any apostle in the new testament did they believe they still can do except for write scripture yes uh, but from what i hear from what you've told me <laughs> mm -hmm. is that when an apostle who has the authority of an apostle mm -hmm. in these denominations speaks mm -hmm. it's almost like their their words are the final word mm -hmm. And not just the apostle, but the pastors also. Mm. Yeah, so there's a very strong hierarchical structure. Mm -hmm. Almost so, cultish. So obviously, mm -hmm. you know, they, the pastors have to adhere to what the apostle says. But they rarely get together because there's so many pastors mm -hmm. everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So mm -hmm. um, they hardly ever know what's going on in every church. So pretty much it's just the pastors are the ones that are mm -hmm. the ones that say things. And a lot of yeah. the times they use the Bible out of context yeah. to their advantage yeah, yeah. to control their church. And I think that's uh, mm -hmm. really important that we um, that we establish that the early apostles, the 12 apostles, mm -hmm. Peter, James, Young, the early 12 mm -hmm. minus Judas because he betrayed the Lord and killed mm -hmm. himself. But I think it was Matthias. Matthias. Mm -hmm. They added Matthias to the 12. He was the 12th apostle. Some mm -hmm. people think it was Paul. Mm -hmm. I don't think it was Paul. I don't even think Paul would call himself one of the 12. Mm -hmm. So the 12, the pillars of the church, the mm -hmm. pillars, those who were the foundational teachers of the church, mm -hmm. they are no longer in operation. Mm hmm then you have other apostles like Paul and Barnabas and Apollos even mm -hmm. who may have been uh, other apostles because mm -hmm. um, Apollos is actually considered 
along the same lines as Paul during that time. Mm -hmm. Even Paul writes about it in 1 Corinthians, mm -hmm. where he's like, why are you guys divided? Is Some of you are saying you're from Christ. Others mm -hmm. are saying you're from Paul. Others are saying for you're from Apollos. Mm -hmm. So there, Apollos definitely had some level of influence in the church mm -hmm. in that time, though we don't know if we have any of his writings. Mm -hmm. um, but the early 12 mm -hmm. and some of the early apostles seem to operate in a mm -hmm. very specific way. Mm -hmm. yeah. they, it seems like the Lord used them constantly in the working of miracles. Yes. Uh, to raise the dead. Mm -hmm. To heal. Mm -hmm. Droves of people. Mm -hmm. And to write scriptures. Mm -hmm. Or to dictate to somebody mm -hmm. to their teachings scripture. to mm -hmm. write scriptures. Mm -hmm. For example, Mark is not an apostle. Mm -hmm. But he wrote. Mm -hmm. Luke is not an apostle. Mm -hmm. But he wrote. Mm -hmm. Um, wasn't Timothy? Well, Timothy, Paul writes to Timothy, mm -hmm. but Timothy um, is just a letter to Timothy. Mm -hmm. So there's a couple of people that wrote scripture mm -hmm. that either wrote from the teachings of one of the apostles mm -hmm. or as a as one who was writing their words down. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> yeah. we don't have those apostles today. Mm -hmm. We don't have those apostles today. And somebody who claims to be that that kind of apostle is, I think, heresy. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I think those older apostles from back in the New Testament, the Lord gave them the, or granted them those specific abilities to do that because they were the first people to go out and disciple and teach and tell people about jesus because he had just died and resurrected mm -hmm. so those were the first people that were actually there when it happened so yeah. the lord's like i'm granting you this so that way you could further the knowledge of the gospel further my word yeah. and you're doing my work now in today's time we already know of all this we have the bible if you go to any random person out on the street, they're going to know who Jesus is. They're going to know. For the most part. For in the America. Part, yeah. They're mm -hmm. going to know about some person named Jesus. They've heard about him. Exactly. They may not know the fullness of the message mm -hmm. of the gospel, but they know, they know they've mm -hmm. heard of a guy named Jesus before mm -hmm. to some level or another. And they have the ability to get the word. Yes. Whether it be by their phone, downloading an app, or going out and purchasing a Bible, they have the ability to know about Jesus Christ yeah. at any given moment. Those people back then had no idea. Right. <laughs> so they came with signs and wonders mm -hmm. and showing them, like, this is a true God. Look at what this true God can do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they would heal, and then they would say, be free go and sin no more be free the lord has saved you i do this not by my own power but by jesus who has died and rose again yeah they were they had the ability as they preached the gospel to let them know because there was there's certain evidences like in the book of acts where mm -hmm. peter goes and preaches to cornelius and then they see the same kind of outpouring of the spirit on cornelius mm -hmm. and his household um, the same way that it fell on the Jews in Acts 2. And Peter says, oh, they're receiving the same salvation that we did. So mm -hmm. they were, in a sense, allowed to bind up things on earth so mm -hmm. that they would be bound in heaven. Mm -hmm. And they were to loose things on earth so in order for them to be loosed in heaven. Mm -hmm. Not meaning that they had the ability to save themselves, mm -hmm. but rather as uh, pillars of the church, mm -hmm. as teachers of the foundational doctrines of the church as apostles, mm -hmm. they had the authority to say, this is of Christ, this is not of Christ. Mm -hmm. And we actually see that all throughout the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Peter, Peter, James, John, Paul, they all, to one level or another in their letters, mm -hmm. tell their churches, don't listen to that. That is not mm -hmm. the gospel I taught you. Mm -hmm. Because they were receiving, mm -hmm. in their time, fresh, fresh revelation. Mm -hmm. Now, we believe that the canon is closed. The scriptures are closed now. So there is no more new revelation in the mm -hmm. sense of we don't need to know anything else about our faith today or about the future mm -hmm. and the coming 
kingdom of God in the eschaton or at, at the end times. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that apostles operate today the mm -hmm. same way that in the same exact way that they did in, in the New Testament. Mm -hmm. However, there are certain attributes of apostleship mm -hmm. that can still be granted to certain leaders mm -hmm. today. Let me let me qualify that. Um, so the word apostle in the Greek, apostolos, just means sent one, right? It mm -hmm. just means to be sent. Mm -hmm. Peter, James, and John were sent. The 12 were sent. Paul was sent. Barnabas was sent. Apollos was sent. They were sent ones. Mm -hmm. But they were sent with a specific authority mm -hmm. to plant churches, mm -hmm. to oversee mm -hmm. multiple churches, mm -hmm. and to disciple, mentor, and grow the leaders in those churches. Mm -hmm. If that's how you define apostleship today, mm -hmm. I have no problem with it. Because mm -hmm. I think there's plenty of men who do that today. Mm -hmm. They go to other places in the world. They establish churches. They mm -hmm. establish um, leaders in those churches. Mm -hmm. They develop ch those churches. They, they grow those churches. They grow those leaders. They mentor. They disciple. Mm -hmm. And that's their work. Mm -hmm. And I think in that case, you are an apostle, a lowercase a apostle, mm -hmm. not a capital A apostle mm -hmm. like the 12, <laughs> yeah. but a lowercase a like now apostle. Now, that, that doesn't negate the fact that they can, at times, the Lord can grant them a gift of healing or um, prophecy or mm -hmm. any other of those, um, what are those gifts called? Charismatic gifts. Charismatic gifts, gifts. Mm -hmm. That doesn't negate that they cannot receive those. They absolutely can. But is it something they are always having? Is that a gift that they're going to use continuously at a moment's notice whenever they feel like doing it? And the answer is no. Yeah. <laughs> no, and I, no. I, I actually suggest and believe that the early apostles also could not just do it whenever they wanted no. to. No, no. I believe that the Lord granted specific gifts at mm -hmm. specific times mm -hmm. in order to qualify mm -hmm. the the message and the power of the gospel. Mm -hmm. But I don't think Peter just walked about healing at will the way Jesus did. No, I, because it is still is by the glory of God for him only. Mm -hmm. So if they had the ability to say, I am a healer. Mm -hmm. Then we could say, well, if that apostle was a healer, then that means I could be a healer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And actually, we're going to get into that because 1 Corinthians 12 talks. It doesn't say gift of healer. It says mm -hmm. gifts of healing. Mm -hmm. And that's actually a really important, mm -hmm. uh, a really important differentiation to make. Mm -hmm. People don't receive, receive the gift of healer. They receive gifts of healing. No, because at that point, all I could think is, then you're pretty much equating an apostle with Jesus. That they had these same, like God granted them the same power that Jesus had. Meaning, right. mm -hmm. we can have that same power also as we walk on this earth. Yeah, and Jesus is, was the God man. He was mm -hmm. fully human fully god mm -hmm. he was able to divine divinely operate in his power as he so chose mm -hmm. um whether somebody had faith or whether somebody didn't have faith mm -hmm. whether uh, somebody asked for it or whether he just walked up to mm -hmm. somebody and just healed them mm -hmm. for the glory of god mm -hmm. so god jesus was able to operate in such a way that i i believe that even the 12 could not operate mm -hmm. because um, then it would, I think it would have the tendency to make the 12 mm -hmm. prideful and puffed up, mm -hmm. but let's continue on. All right. So that's where I believe apostleship, um, begins and ends the 12 mm -hmm. early church, Peter or Paul, Barnabas and Apollos even mm -hmm. were probably apostles. And today mm -hmm. the definition of apostle, I think is just a leader in the church mm -hmm. that, um, oversees plans and grows churches mm -hmm. multiple churches mm -hmm. 